Alright, what's up my brothers and Call of Duty refugees? Don't How we up, all doing? Apparently today we have an update on X Defined. Is it getting cancelled? Is it never coming out? Or is it coming out? But when is it coming out? Today we got a brand new update, ladies and gentlemen. Love y'all for dropping three likes on the video. Come here, everybody. Come here, okay? We upload every single day, so hit the subscribe bell. And in the name of Emo Blame Truth, in the name of Emo Blame Truth, X Define will turn out to be a banger. Hopefully, let's check it out. That many of us have been patiently waiting to see released is X Defiant. We were told back during the beta, it would release at some point during the summer. Some point. And unfortunately, looking at the calendar, you can see that we we are almost fully done with summer at this point. So, in other words, it's Joe or Brad. Is it me or you guys also hate the last week of August, first week of uh, September? Man, I just hate the fact that you, like some of you gotta go back to school. Oh shit! Right? Like some of you are probably like, hey man, I don't wanna go there. I don't wanna. But you have to go. But guess what? Who who is not going back to school? Some of you are probably not going back, so that's actually good. But man, even though I'm not going back to, I absolutely hate it though, man. Why do last week of August exist? I hate it. I truly hate it. Smash the like button if you hate it too. We did get an update from Mark Rubin, and I'd like to talk about that here today. But let's talk about the very first update that just came about one month ago on July 30th. And just as a side note, I am still extremely sick, so I apologize for my voice. My voice cracks. Feel free to make fun of me in the comment section below. Uh, but we got an Yo, why you say make fun of me? Why you say feel free to make fun? Now nobody's gonna make fun. Suckers would make fun of you when you don't even say it. That's how suckers behave, right? Guys, I'm sick. Everybody gonna make fun. Guys, I am sick. Make fun of me. Then nobody makes fun. It's like me saying, guys, everybody's gonna be dropping a like on this video. Then nobody does. Nobody's gonna drop a like. Then everybody drops a like. Let's do social experiment. Guys, don't like the video. Don't like that video. Let's see what happens. Update from Mark Rubin on July 30th, and this is what he had to say. Okay. Quick insight to what's going on right now. We are in the process of getting approved by first parties, but because this is our first time getting this version of the engine through certification, it's going to take a bit longer than usual. Don't worry, as soon as I have more info, I will share it. Also, I know it's been some time since our beta already, and I know usually that means launch is soon after, but for yeah. us, as we've done in the past, our betas are real tests and not marketing moments. <laughs> Normally, <a> yo, <laughs> my guy literally went hard at this uh, Call of Duty. Hey, friendly, you, 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 you know this BBC? <laughs> That's what he's talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, Call of Duty betas are actually final games, but their betas are real taste. You know what I'm saying? Real taste game would already be certing when the beta goes live but okay. we used our beta as a real test to make the game better mm. hope this all makes sense also this is just an update on the process nothing has changed on our anticipated release time frame although we are still on track we won't really know until we get reports back from first parties on our submission okay. so they're basically just letting us know that yeah the beta was exactly what it was it was a beta they collected a lot of data uh, emergency meeting everybody emergency meeting okay uh, run, 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 run! Emergency meeting. Now, here's the thing, okay? You accidentally played this knocking sound effect, though. It kind of scared me as well. I'm sure some of you got scared as well. I I'ma leave it in. Jump scare, boys, jump scare. Uh, but here's the thing, emergency meeting, right? If you played the beta, did you like it? One, if you liked it. Two, if you did not. I want to know your thoughts on it because when I played it, I see potential, but this is not my cup of tea. But still, though, I want to see this game succeed. I want this game to be a banger. I want this game to actually be something that can rival Call of Duty. It's not going to be a Call of Duty killer. I know suckers constantly want to say that it's going to be a Call of Duty killer. Guys, it's not going to be like we're talking. Everybody's everybody's like this, okay? Everybody's trashing Call of Duty. Everybody's calling it a DLC because it is a DLC. Modern Warfare 3 is not Modern Warfare 3. It is Modern Warfare 2 DLC. Bruh. Let's be real. Let's keep it facts. It's a DLC. It's going to be the same game. But here's the thing, though. Right? Sucker's going to say they're not going to buy. But Suckers will buy. Suckers will buy. I'm personally going to be skipping this year. I will wait till Phil Spencer takes over. I will wait till they start listening to Emo Blame Truth. Know what I'm saying? Uh, I will definitely give them one last chance uh, with the next Black Ops game next year though and hopefully Phil actually does a good job with Call of Duty and manages Activision well enough hopefully hopefully fingers crossed but I want to see other games succeed personally I'm really really hyped for the finals though any of you looking forward to the finals 
Axe Defiant, I want to see this bang. I want to see this succeed because they are doing so many good things. There is decent maps. There are decent, uh, decent guns as well. Apparently, suckers are saying that they're called the actual guns. You know, they, they, they are, they have real name. For example, this one is called RPK. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shit. Oh, so they're licensing the, the weapons uh, instead of being like, instead of Activision that just saves their money there as well. There is also no skill-based matchmaking. Oh, oh, I'm shaking. Yeah, there's no skill-based matchmaking. I will be playing when the game drops, and you never know. I might get hit in the G-spot, and I might start shaking like the homie Dalek, though. Data. They're right? trying to make the appropriate changes from that while also trying to get approved by first parties. So Yay. that takes us to the newest update that we just got last night from Mark Rubin, and this is what he had to say. Hey, all. I know it's been quiet, and I apologize for that. We're in a phase where we are submitting X Defiant for release and squashing any last minute bugs. And on a new IP, i.e. not a sequel to a sequel to a sequel, poking a little fun <laughs> at Call of Duty there. He basically means to say, friendly He's talking about the UAV boys. He knows, he knows. I mean, he's the ex Call of Duty dev, sequel of the sequel. Bro, everybody pokes fun at Call of Duty. We are taking the time to get those steps right. I love how excited everyone is about our game. We've reached many more people than we ever expected already. And I share your frustration on just wanting to be able to play. But unlike what my mom thinks, making a game isn't all fun in games. And not every part of the process is as fun as others. Okay. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. The there team is, is hard at work and we are making progress every day to get the game in your hands as soon as it's ready. Thank you again to everyone for- There is always light at the end of the goddamn tunnel, ladies and gentlemen. See my light fell, actually. See my light fell. That's a sign from God. That's a sign from God that one day Emo Blame Truth will start liking Call of Duty. That one day Emo Blame Truth will not be producing. That game's trash. This game sucks. Videos of why I have a dream. Uh, I love the homie Blame Truth, by the way, though. Bruh. being fans of our game and i hope to see you all soon in game which is a really good update you know th yeah there was no mention here Yo, some suckers are saying that the game is going to be coming out in september i'm not sure if that's true or not but he said soon having struggles with certification there was no mention here of anything like that i think that mark and his team are really 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 just trying to squash as many bugs yeah. as they possibly possibly can possibly. i'm actually very happy that they're taking this additional time and yeah, not true. trying to fix the mistake yo 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 this map is reminding me of the stadium map from black ops one oh, oh, yo any any of you played black ops one and, and do you remember the stadium map i believe it was called the stadium this map looks like it bruh i remember this i remember this I'm shaking, I'm shaking, I'm shaking. Oh, oh I'm shaking. I am After shaking. After the game launches, this is a brand new IP. It's a brand new game. And there were definitely problems found during the beta that need to be squashed before it releases to the public. Yo, forever. this is dead ass like that. Uh, stadium map from Black Ops 1. Now, whether dead that ass. was the more technical issues like net code and connections and all that different stuff, or just straight up glitches and bugs that were found in the game that definitely need repaired. Yeah. Um, I'm glad now, it it's, a, it's a good thing that they are taking their time and they're squashing as many bugs as possible. I mean, it's always good to hear communication. This is more communication than Call of Duty. Let's just be, let's just keep a buck 50 here right guys but he's telling us the information that we don't necessarily need to know per se but i respect it i'm glad that they're communicating with the fans uh, when i say like we don't necessarily know i'm just talking about them certif uh, certificating the, the game because that's usually we never hear that and it's not an important information but in a way he's just telling us that the game is gonna be ready very soon and that's good to know another thing here is this right guys uh, uh, emergency meeting emergency meeting I, I truly think the best time to release this game was yesterday. And when I say yesterday, I truly mean to say like August, July. But the second best time, in my honest opinion, would be like February or March of 2024. Because we're not gonna have any massive game around that time. Guys, I know people say this, uh, I'm not gonna buy Call of Duty, but suckers would buy. People always meme on Call of Duty, but it's the best selling game every year, right? So Call of Duty is going to release, we're going to have Spider-Man 2, we're going to have Starfield as well, more like Starfield! Starfield is going to release, these are massive games, so we're going to have so many big games. And if Star uh, and if uh, X Define releases in the middle, it's not going to be that good for this game. If you want to see this game succeed, and if 
if Ubisoft want to see this game bang though, it should have already come out. But the fact that they're taking more time, I can respect that. It should come out by March of next year. Because yes, yeah, streamers are going to be on it. Everybody's going to be on it when it drops like some mosquitoes. But if Call of Duty comes out like a week after this game, it's all over. Everybody's going to be switching sides and everybody's going to be on Call of Duty and Sucker's going to forget about this game. So if you want to see this game succeed, it should come out after Call of Duty and when most games are not coming out because it's a new new IP though. I, I want to see this game succeed, but guys, I'll keep a buck 50. There's no point for me to lie. I, I played this game and so far it's not for me though, right? Like I like a lot of good things, but I did not get that dopamine though. Uh, I want to wait for the final product. I'll give it a second chance, third chance, fourth chance even. I might end up liking it and I hope I do end up liking it, but it doesn't matter whether I like it or not. I want the game succeeding and if you want the, to see the game succeed and you want to see uh, Call of Duty have some competition, then it should come out at a time when Call of Duty is not out or it comes out when Call of Duty is a little bit dry or it comes out after, that, if, if you're feeling. Thoughts? They're Agree? taking the time to Disagree? do it after the beta and even extending out that original release time. I would much rather have the game come out in a more complete state than trying to pick up the pieces after the fact, spending their development time fixing yeah. bugs that were there during the beta as opposed to just focusing on the future. I agree. And that's something that's always bothered me with the more recent live service Call of Duty games. Call of Duty. Not yeah! only that, and I just love the fact that we're getting transparency. Even though we don't have the game in our hands, we're getting updates, even about certification, which is something you don't normally hear about titles that are... Dog, you never hear certification. You never. And it's not an important information. We do not need to know. But the point here is that... Stud Muffins, pay attention. Pay attention. The point here is that communication. Communication. They are, they are talking to us and basically telling us that the game is going to be soon. Soon it's going to be ready. And that's good. That's good. That's that are good backed you know? by huge companies in this case ubisoft so Ubi snooze, yeah i just gotta say that is refreshing and i do like that but yep. my biggest question and now concern is when do they plan on actually launching this game because yeah we literally see we literally were talking about this watch him say don't release our own call of duty don't release our own that game this game that game that this game that game as we quickly approach fall we are going to see so many big titles release including the sequel to the sequel to the sequel which is modern warfare 3 Friendly and, and first of all i gotta say wrong, wrong 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 it's not modern warfare 3 it's gonna be modern warfare 2 dlc and even though that game gets memed on to hell and back it is going to sell and it is going to be a significant competition to a brand yep. new IP that isn't established, yep. that's still trying to gather an audience, that's still trying to find its yeah. attention. And while I know there's going to be plenty of us there on day one playing it as soon as it releases. Yeah, I mean, I mean, if you're a hardcore fan, you're going to be there no matter what. Maybe you're not going to play like day one, day one, day one per se, day two maybe, perhaps day three. But for the casuals, that's where everyone's at right like casual players they're just gonna see call of duty mommy mommy i want to play call of duty i want to buy call buy me call of duty they're gonna be on call of duty and not x defiant like mark if you're watching brad big fan you are the face of the original modern warfare 3 not the sequel of the sequel of the sequel like you said i want to see your game succeed okay release it be 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 thoughtful about this release it obviously you guys see the numbers more than me and more than other toxic gamers right the, yeah, release it around the time when it makes sense and when you honestly know it's gonna bang. Because streamers are gonna jump on it and they're gonna market the game, word of mouth's gonna spread around if the game is good. Even if the game is not good, it's free, right? The people are gonna jump on it. And if they like it, they're gonna stay on it. If they don't like it, whatever, right? It's free, so no biggie. You're gonna play, you're gonna enjoy. And, and that's awesome to see, right? But I wanna see this game succeed. And recently, Swag actually did this live on stream. I'm telling you, man, we have strong, strong, independent queens as well. Click on this video on the screen. It's a banger, y'all, and I'll see you right there.